Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell so when I'm uploading on YouTube, you are notified. We're going to do what you check, get ready with me. It's been a little, 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 little. Since I did the last chit chat, get ready with me. But I got a lot going on, got a lot to say. And after this video, um, Kendrick and I are getting ready to head out. Got a couple of errands, gotta go run. So, yeah. And I gotta get me something to eat too. So, yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this chit chat. Yeah! I can't talk today. <laughs> we're gonna get started with this chit chat. Get ready with me. As always, I have my handy dandy mirror with me. I don't know what is going on with me and I can't talk. No baby, I don't know. Um, anyway, but yeah, uh, a lot of the makeup you're getting ready to see is from an is for an upcoming makeup review I'm going to be doing for you guys. So a lot of this makeup, when you see it in my makeup review, oh yeah, I saw she talked about this in um chit chat. Get rid of me that she did. Yeah, y'all know. Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, know the deal. Y'all know the deal. So yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get started with this chit chat. Get ready with me. All right. So for primer, this primer is actually not a new product. It is actually for me a re up, but the brand is part of the makeup review I'm going to be doing. It's the majority of the makeup. It's going to be part of my makeup review. Um, so yeah, I had to re up on some things because I haven't done a makeup review with this brand. I want to say in about three years or so. So I had a lot of catching up to do with this brand. So for primer, I am starting with the LA Girl Pro Prep, um, their face primer. So yes, majority of the products I am going to be testing out for you guys is LA Girl. Um, I'm not testing it. This is a chit chat. Get ready. Good chit chat. Get ready with me. I don't know why I can't talk. I don't know. I don't know why I can't talk. Yet. But yeah, that's. Um, let's, let, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. All the products that I'm going to be using for you guys today, I will put it in the bottom of the description box for you guys. So, um, yeah, I've had a lot of stuff going on these last few weeks. I mean, I have a lot going on. I'm going to explain a whole bunch of things, what has been going on with me. And majority of the stuff that has been going on with me has a lot to do with work. And also has a lot to do with um, my health. Um, so I'm going to explain to you guys what's been going on uh, just with everything. Um, I don't know. I think, first, well, for starters, um, y'all know um, a few months ago, um, my mother-in-law passed away. My husband and I were on our trip to Vegas back in March. And we weren't even in Vegas a good 12 hours um, when we got to call that my mother-in-law passed. Um, so we had to literally, like, okay, try to enjoy ourselves in Las Vegas. Um, the main reason we were in Vegas was for the New Edition concert. It was New Edition, Jodeci, and Charlie Wilson the main reason why we're in Vegas so we tried to make the best of it um so we flew from Vegas um back home and then um had to literally we were only home for two days and boom had to catch another had to drive back from Baton Rouge back to the airport in New Orleans to fly out to Chicago and yeah it's since then and since all that back and forth and everything i think things with me and my husband has been kind of like up and down it's like it's some good moments and then there's some bad moments then we have good moments again and i think he's still grieving i'm chopping it up to he may still be grieving his mother um because lately once again we're back at a pretty bad patch so we are about to go back to Vegas again in a few weeks, kind of like a redo. 
of the Vegas trip that kind of went awry. Um, so our anniversary is next month and next month will be 10 years of marriage for us. And we are heading back to Vegas for our anniversary. Kind of bad timing for me because at my job, we're in the middle of our closeout. So um, I don't want to close out for my job. So if you're not, I don't really talk about my job. I don't talk about it. Um, but for those of you that are new, I've mentioned it before. You know, I talk about Vam Cosmetics. I do YouTube, I do TikTok, and so forth. Vam Cosmetics, I have Vam Clothing Boutique. But yeah, I do have an actual job and I work in state government. So right now in our state government, um, we are in the middle of our, we just started our um, closeout um, for the fiscal year. Um, our new fiscal year started J J July 1st. Fiscal year ends June 30th. So um, yeah. And being my profession is an accountant, but I am an accountant supervisor. I am over the accounts payable section I'm at my job and we are trying to close out. We're trying to pay everything, trying to get everything done from the prior year. Because once it's done from the prior year, you can't process anything. Um, you have to do everything in your current year, in the new fiscal year. So that's my job. That's what I'm going through right now. At my job is a closeout and I'm planning my anniversary. And usually for my anniversary, um, I don't go anywhere. If we do something for our anniversary, it's here in Baton Rouge um, because he has a lot going on. And then school is going to be starting, so we really don't have a whole lot. Um, and then it's hard to get off when we're trying to close out a fiscal year. So it's kind of hard to take off. And they kind of don't like us to take off during a fiscal year, fiscal year close. But during this time, most of our stuff should already be finished and you should be actually looking at the people across so yeah <laughs> yeah that's what i'm going through right now um yeah for foundation i have been testing this foundation but well, not testing but i've been wearing this foundation and they sent me this foundation i hope i am pronouncing this right this is from a brand called Mixilio, Mixilio, this is the brand. Um, I got their foundation, they sent me their foundation and I tried out their foundation and can I tell you, their foundation is pretty doggone good. This is what the foundation looks like. I believe the shade I have, I don't remember the shade number that I have. If I can find the shade number, I will put it in the bottom of the description box because y'all know I don't have my glasses on y'all. I do not have my glasses on. Um, but this is the foundation from a brand called Mixilio. Here it is. They have 14 shades, I believe. And what I like about the brand is they do a shade match. So you can shade match yourself. Um, you just put in um, what foundations that are your match. You put it in um, that quiz on their website and they will give you your shade. And this is the shade that they gave me. Um, again, I will put it in the bottom of the description box because y'all know me, I'm blind as a bat and I can't see nothing. But I wore this foundation. When I wore the foundation the first time, I was amazed. I really did love this foundation. I like the coverage. I like how it feels and everything. Go ahead and pump some of this out. And I initially was a little doubtful about the match, but actually it came out pretty doggone good, to be honest with you. So I really do like this foundation. I really, really do. Again, it's 14 shades. I mean, it's not a lot of shades that they have, but they do shade match you. And I believe the shades that they have, it's evenly split amongst the deep and the, 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 the dark deep. Um, fair, medium, medium, dark. I think it's evenly um, split. Um, but check them out. Their foundation is awesome. I've really been enjoying their foundation. Here is what it is. You And I actually thought, oh, this is going to be too red. But it actually did not turn out that way. It actually was pretty good. It was a pretty good match. Uh, I have been wearing this. I believe this is a matte um foundation and this is a medium coverage you can build this up and i really do like this foundation and i believe you will like this foundation as well 
Um, I will put a link for you guys. Again, if you want to try out this foundation, I will put a link for you guys in the bottom of the description box. Um, so they did give me a code, so I want to thank them for sending me the foundation. This is a very good foundation. And when I tell you, I looked in natural light and I looked at myself with this foundation on, I got scared at first, but no, actually this foundation was pretty doggone good, to be honest with you. This is a pretty good foundation, if I should say, if I should say so myself. This is a pretty good foundation. So this is what the finish is. It looks a little orange on the camera, but no. This is actually my first time priming this foundation with the primer from um, LA Girl. And this is pretty good. This is pretty good. So the name of brand really is called Missilio. They have 14 shades. They do shape matches. So I will suggest for you guys, try the shape match quiz and it will shape match you to your shade. For concealer, I'm going back old school, y'all. I'm going all the way back. I'm actually going to use the rest of this because I ain't got much left of this. So I'm going to use the rest of it. This is my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I believe the shade I have. I don't remember the shade I have. This is the concealer from LA Girl. Y'all know this is an OG product. I said got me another one. Um, and I do that, you know, for spot concealing. Um, but you know, this is an OG product, y'all. Y'all know this OG. So anyway, uh, so yeah, we are on our way to Las Vegas. And also what's been going on has a lot to do with my health as well. Um. But having a lot of issues with my health, which is why my my uploads have been so sporadic. Because I have to go on the days I have good days and days I have um, bad days. Started coming to a head a little bit in December, um, back in December. Um, my husband and I have been complaining about our mattress, and we both were complaining that man, we need a new mattress. We think this mattress needs to be replaced. Um, cause both of our hips have been hurting. So my husband purchased a new bed. We got a new bed. Um, it came right before, um, the week of New Year's. That's when it came in. Cause we actually ordered, we got the bed back, um, right after Christmas. Um, we went and we went hunting for a bed. The main thing was the mattress. Cause we thought, okay, we need another mattress, which we did. We needed another mattress. So when we got the new bed with the new mattresses and everything, his hip was feeling much better. Me, on the other hand, I was not feeling much better at all. Yeah, I was not feeling better at all. Uh, it actually, things were starting to get worse. And I noticed it a lot, again, around the time we were like going from Las Vegas back home to Louisiana, then had to fly back to Chicago, then back home to Louisiana again. Uh, sleeping on those different hotel beds, um, I was really feeling the numbness. And then when we went to Chicago recently, I was really feeling the numbness is mainly on my left side. And I actually thought um, it may be um, my feet. I do have bad feet. I do have plantar fasciitis. I do. I have plantar fasciitis. I will do that. I do have plantar fasciitis. But it's turning out was my feet and that's what initially what I thought because at work I have to wear tennis shoes but I have to be careful with wearing um like dress shoes or something like that because I, um, my feet go in like this so I thought okay that's what it is plus I have been in our fire room at work a whole lot and I really really did think okay I've been on my feet way too long this could be why I'm having the numbness and it's my feet my leg but mainly my hip area um, and it really took a toll on me after work. Um, so I decided to go ahead and go to the doctor and really get it, um, checked out. Plus I needed another, um, primary care doctor because my other primary care doctor, he left. And I found out later he moved to Florida. Oh, okay. 
So I have a new primary care doctor and she just ordered all of these tests and I told her what was going on. And initially she thought, well, yeah, it could be your feet, but then again, it may not be your feet. So since you're having all these problems, I wanna do an X-ray on you. Um, for um, setting powder, you know, I set my face twice. The first setting powder, this is from LA Girl. This is their pro powder. This is their setting powder from LA Girl. Um, this was actually my first time picking up, picking this out. Um, I never had a setting powder from um, LA Girl before, I don't remember. So I went to the doctor. They ran some tests. I got an x-ray done. Um, and, you know, okay, let's get, get this done. Also, um, what else did she do? Um, she checked my blood pressure. I have very funky... Uh, blood pressures. I mean, I can't help it. It runs in my family. Everybody in my family has some type of blood pressure issue and it runs really bad on both sides of my family. Um, I have lost my grandfather to a heart attack. Um, I have my mom's brothers. All of them. One has a pacemaker. The other two have stents. Um, so that's how bad it runs in my family. And of course, my other grandfather on my dad's side, he passed away from a heart attack. My grandmother had like a had like two, three strokes, but she eventually passed away from Alzheimer's. Her years dealing with Alzheimer's, that's what happened with my grandmother. But every person in my family is on some type of blood pressure medicine. So she said my blood pressure, they had to check my blood pressure again because it was a little high. Um, and I told her, I said, I never really have normal blood pressure readings. I never do. So she said, okay, well, I'm going to prescribe you a low dose blood pressure medicine. However, the only way you're going to take it, you got to check, monitor your blood pressure. Uh, so now, um, I do monitor my blood pressure. I've only had to take the pill once, um, because my blood pressure was like out of control. And once I took the medicine, um, it was, I was okay. Um, cause my heart also does tend to race. It, it, it does tend to race. Um, for my second setting powder, um, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me, um, setting powder in medium D. I am damn near out. I'm actually with this Fit Me powder, I'm using the last of the powder. I didn't have the chest. <laughs> but... She said, well, also, since you've been having problems with your hip area and you've been saying it, let's get an x-ray. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, no problem. It's like, you know, routine. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's get all that checked up, uh, checked out. Plus, because I did not know that they had lowered the age of people getting colonoscopies, um, my colonoscopy has been scheduled, so I am having my first colonoscopy, and I'm not very thrilled about that, because I thought I had a few more years, but no, they lowered it from 50 down to 45. I have surpassed the age of 45, and because I have surpassed that age, I was past due for a colonoscopy, so my colonoscopy has been scheduled for next month. I ain't too thrilled about that, but... I kind of have to have it because um, my mom had part of her colon removed. She ended up having um, diverticulitis and the doctors actually thought she had colon cancer and it was not colon cancer. She had diverticulitis. She was eating too many doggone foods with, with seeds in it is what it was. So she actually was not supposed to have that, but her diverticulitis had gotten so bad, they actually thought she had colon cancer. It was not cancer. However, when she did have her colonoscopy, she had to have a colonoscopy after she had um, part of her colon removed, um, and they did end up removing two polyps. So um, my mom was supposed to go back every... I think now it's like when you're in good health, you go back every 10 years. But if they find something, I think it's like every two to three years or something like that. My cousin told me they lowered it. They raised it to seven or something like that. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, and she said she had polyps. Um, so because of that, 
I can't do the at home collace or cola guard or anything like that. I actually got to go in. And of course, this is my first time. I have to go into the hospital. So I'll, um, my colonoscopy has been scheduled for August. Um, I don't know which person is going to be there with me when I wake up to take me there to have the colonoscopy done. I don't know if it's going to be my husband or if it's going to be my daughter. But the good thing is the hospital is literally around the corner, right down over there. That's why I got to go. So I got to go over there. Um, for bronzer, I'm going to use the um, Morphe pressed powder. Um, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to go in with, with Morphe. So yeah, um, anyway, back to my x-ray and I got my x-ray results. And um, not only did I get an email, uh, I got a phone call. I didn't like that. Plus, I have the portal where I can check my results. And when I saw my x-ray results, I didn't like what I saw. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm, I'm no doctor or no nurse or anything like that. But I know them spots on my uh, x-ray ain't for be there. And I mean, I have some, like two spots that was on my x-ray and I got worried so the doctor contacted me and told me and they said I had reduced um cartilage and um, I'm losing cartilage in my hip my left hip um and um it's not gonna be it's not a cure for it in the long run guys um I was officially diagnosed with osteoarthritis is what I have, which is onset arthritis is what I have, which explains a lot of stuff that I've been going through for years, not realizing that was the reason why I was going through this. Um, biggest thing was when I do something with my hands and if I'm doing it too frequently, my thumbs both of my thumbs will lock up and it'll stay like this. And it is extremely painful. And I mean, it will stay like this for as long as 15 minutes. And I am in excruciating pain. So imagine trying to do this, trying to move it, and you cannot move your thumbs because they are literally stuck in place. And it is extremely painful. Right now, it's my shoulder. Um, if I move my shoulder a certain way or if I do too much with my shoulder, my shoulder gets stuck. Duck. It is all part of the onset arthritis that I have, not knowing that it's a problem. And I'm going right before I started filming, my shoulder locked up. So I had to wait for my shoulder to unlock for me to do this video. I have sponsored content I am behind on that I need to get out, but because my health has taken such a, a turn, it's hard for me to get these videos out. Um, like now, I'm moving my shoulder like this. And I can still feel the pain. It feels like, like if I can, like right now I can do this. 20 minutes ago, I couldn't do that. I couldn't even do this because that's how much my shoulder had locked up. Um, on my left side, where most of the spots are on my left side, um, it, it gets numb. Or when I walk, my feet are tingling. My whole left side gets numb. I can't sit for too long. So filming a video for you guys from YouTube or anything like that, it is hard for me. And plus I sit a lot at the flea market and pop-up shops. It is very, very, very hard for me to sit for a long period of time. I can't do it. I have to stand up. I have to walk. And then even if I'm standing, I can't stand for a long period of time because if I stand too long, I am going to be in a lot of excruciating pain. So that is what I was diagnosed with, was, um, which is osteoarthritis. You know, millions of people, I find out, they do have it. It's just onset arthritis. There's no cure for it. You just, you have to live with the pain. But to make my pain manageable, um, they did put me in physical therapy. So I am now starting physical therapy. I go to physical therapy twice a week. And this is going to go on for about six weeks. Um, so again, if my uploads are going to be very, very sporadic, this is the reason why my uploads have been sporadic. 
um, it is my health. And then when you have sponsored content and then you have all these other brands that want you to put out videos for them and they're like, where's the video? Where's the video? Where's the video? We have, well, my body is saying, well, you ain't got time to do that right now. And my job is now going to have to adjust with, look here, I ain't gonna be able to do all the stuff y'all want me to do now here. And I can't sit down for this long period of time. Or if I just start walking around the building, that's because I am trying to get circulation back as part of my health plan um, with physical therapy. So that is why my uploads are a little swank. And more than just going out of town a whole lot, my health is saying hell to the no. Hell to the no. No, no, no. But I have to work with it. I have to manage with it. So I am asking all of you to please bear with me because this is a task a bit of a text okay okay <laughs> for blush um i'm trying this blush i don't know how i kind of feel about it we don't see this is a new product this is from la girl this is the la girl cream blush um there's this is their soft matte cream blush here it is this is from la girl I'm not sure of the shade because I do not have my glasses on. But I will try my best to put it in the bottom of the description box. Um, we're going to put this on. I think it was okay for me. I'm not sure. We're going to put this. We're going we're gonna to try this green brush. Because I don't remember. Did I even put it? I don't even think I ever put this on. Oh, this got a lot of color. No, I did not wear this blush. So I'm trying this out for you guys on camera. For the first time. No, I didn't wear this. Ooh. Oh, you need it just a little bit for this door. This is pigmented. Oh, this is pigmented, y'all. Oh, okay. I see you, Ellie girl. Okay. I think I did a little too much. We gonna tone, we gonna tone it down. Oh, we gonna tone it down. Very good. Okay. Maybe a little. What's that thing? Maybe a little splotchy? I'm trying to look on the viewfinder. I don't know. Look a little splotchy? I think a little splotchy. Okay. Alright, next is eyeshadow. Now, I. Ended up picking up two eyeshadow palettes from LA Girl. I've tried one of two eyeshadow palettes already. That was pretty good. I like that. I like that eyeshadow palette. But I never tried this. So this is going to be new for me trying this out. This is the LA Girl Nudie Cutie um, eyeshadow palette. I'm actually trying this out for you guys on camera for the first time. Um, I know what it is. I know what it is. And when I opened it, I think I had something that, yeah, I had a shimmer. I've never worn the palette. This is what the palette looks like, and this is how it came. This um, glitter at the bottom right here is broken, and I'm like not happy about that. The mirror is pretty big. This is how big the mirror is. The mirror is pretty big, but I'm not happy about this glitter here that broke. I'm not happy about that. Um, that means I'm gonna have glitter all over the place. Like, literally, it still got the cover on top of it. I haven't even peeled the cover off or nothing. So, I'm peeling this off in front of you guys. And I'm not happy about that breaking. And this is my first time even using it. Look. And look at that. That whole glitter. Y'all. I gotta be careful with this palette. Oh, my God. Look. It's broke. What in the world? Oh, um, I think on my lid, I'm gonna go with the shade. Hold on, I don't get no glitter on it. I'm gonna put this little chocolate shade on. I'm gonna go ahead. Is this it? No, this. I'm gonna put this in my crease. Let me go see how this looks. This palette, y'all. I don't like this. Mm -mm. This ain't making a dent nowhere on my eyes, y'all. No. I don't like this. Then this thing broke. No.
No, I don't like this. It ain't showing up. Now, the other eyeshadow palette I got from LA Girl, it showed up. And I mean pigmented. Pigmented. This? Mm mm. Like it's, it's like it's barely showing up. Let me try this. Not the broke one, but I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna put this one on my lid. Mm. Yep, yeah, it's definitely a glitter. I ain't no fan of it. I'm gonna have to put this in my mini stack and try it again. That's probably gonna hit the middle with this thing. Because right now, this ain't preferment. Nope. This ain't performing. Yeah, I'm not impressed with that. What y'all think? What y'all think? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to go ahead and put this palette right here. I'm going to put this in my maybe set. I ain't going to play around with y'all. I, 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 I'm not going to play with y'all. I'm not going to play with y'all. Nope. I'm not. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my maybe stack. I I I I I can't I, I can't y'all. I, I can't get with it. I can't not get with the eyeshadow palette. I can't get with it. No. Next is setting spray. I have not ever tried a setting spray from them, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this setting spray. This is again LA Girl. This is their um LA Girl um setting spray. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm kind of like, mm, with it. I mean, it's not revolutionary. <laughs> I have other setting sprays that I like. Um, mm, like I say, it's not really revolutionary. I had, y'all, I'm going to make y'all laugh. I had the, uh, I picked out the LA Girl Tinted Moisturizer that everybody had been talking about. And I thought I got the darker shade. Man, that Tinted Moisturizer is lighter than a Christmas tree. Uh-uh. No. Definitely can't wait because it's way too light. Way too light. Also got a tinted moisturizer from Essence. People have been talking about that, so I got the darker shade. Again, way too light. I can't wear nam neither one of them. I cannot wear them at all. Okay, the setting spray was not bad. Okay, it's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. It's not bad. Next is mascara. I am going in with the LA Girl. What is this? This is their newest mascara. In style mascara here it is this is what it looks like I'm kind of on the fence with this mascara it's some of this LA girl stuff is either real good or it's like eh. for with me right now this mascara is another one I'm like yeah with yeah I'm on the fence with that is that my husband is lip I am a trying I've heard so many people talk about their lip pencils from LA girl so this is their shop wave nude pencil so yeah I'm getting ready to try this out for the first time it's still in the packaging this thing is still like new new so I'm about to take the packaging off let's see does it have a yeah it was just one of them okay yeah, I just went ahead and ripped it off. I still got it in partial of the packing packaging. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. Place with this one by LA Girl. Oh, I like this. I got the wrong. I got the wrong lip up here. Let me go get the right lip. I got. The, all right, I had to go run and get me a lip. I got the wrong lip color up here. 
So I had to give me the right lip. So I went ahead and I grabbed my Fenty Beauty um, Stunner Lip Paint. This is an unbuttoned. I had to grab, ooh, I knew, the, I knew immediately what lip I was getting ready to grab. And then I'm going to top it. I'm going to take this out the package. And finally, this is the um, lip glass, the clear lip glass from MAC. So I'm going to take it out the packaging. I'm about to put this lip glass on. So I've heard the, their clear lip glosses from MAC are super good. It's like a, a little small size of the lip glass. I heard their lip glasses are real good. It's okay. I like the lip. It's really glassy. So I actually tried a couple of new things in front of y'all today. Oh, it's a little sticky. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Uh, mmm. -mm. I don't know about y'all. I am loving this lip pencil from LA Girl. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Okay, so I'm just telling y'all now that the eyeshadow palette from LA Girl is going in my maybe stick. Uh, uh, mm, I don't know. All right, so that is it with this chit chat. Get ready with me. This chit chat get ready with me turned into a makeup review. <laughs> oh, how did it happen? Um, now I'm fitting, I'm, I'm about to leave. Me and Kendrick getting ready to leave out. I got a couple of errands to run, and one of them I take um, Kendrick to go. We have to go see my uncle. My uncle requested his presence, so I'm about to head to my uncle's house first. But I want you all just to bear with me. Um, I am coming out with as many videos as I possibly can and as much as my health will allow me to. Um, the physical therapy, I had my first physical therapy session already and it did seem to help um, with my back. Um, but it still, it was just the first one and we still have a long ways to go. So yeah, just work with me, bear with me. I know I have some sponsored content I got to get out for you guys. And I'm having more brands reaching out to me even more so. And I'm kind of like trying to pick and choose. Let me get through the ones I haven't done first before I just dive into others. Um, but I'm trying to get my body in shape and get my body where it's comfortable right now. My body is just not there. Um, and with this diagnosis, it kind of took me back for a little bit, but when I read up on it and read my information on it, I mean, there are a lot of people that actually suffer from this disease and there's just nothing that can be done. Um, and also because my age, I am getting older, I'm not getting younger, I am getting older because <clears throat> I turned 47 this year and things are going to happen, okay? Things are just gonna happen. So just bear with me. I'm getting the videos out as fast as I possibly can. I got more makeup coming. Yeah, and I got a plethora of makeup back there that I still got to review and go through. Plus, I have to tell you guys about what's going on with Vam Cosmetics, Vam Clothing Boutique, and my daughter and myself's brand new brand that we have that we have not shared with any of you guys. But I am going to be sharing it with you guys in my next video. I am very, very excited about that. We've actually had this brand going for about a year and we just haven't told any of you guys because we wanted to see how the public would react when she would set it up in the barber shop or when we go to pop-up shops and we have these products. And so far it's been a pretty good response. So we are finally going to share the brand with you guys. So with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall of Have a Great Day. Take care. Bye-bye.